guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look crazy, right? But I'm in my bathroom right now. Hold on. I just I just took a number two. TMI. But I posted some pictures on Instagram and I wanted you guys to um take a moment um for all the ladies, um, for the guys, if you have a girlfriend or wife. Um, let her watch this video or you can learn something from this video, I'm hoping. Um, so, a lot of people say, oh, I love your hair. Your hair is so beautiful and this and that. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I do put heat on my hair, right? I do put heat on my hair. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, you guys know I'm the worst when it comes to my channel. Ah! Sorry. I don't know I'm the worst when it comes to my channel. I'm looking hella crazy. So, y'all, I want to share a couple of, sorry, if everything looks crazy, I'm sorry. I want to show you a couple of my favorite hair care products. Okay. Don't mind this. I know it's crazy. I'm in my bathroom. So. I was told by the lady that cuts my hair, I don't go to the same lady all the time, but I have been lately. She told me that I have very healthy hair and it's very beautiful. <laughs> so I'm saying this in the most humblest way possible. She told me that my hair is very healthy. Now y'all know that I am vegan. Um, I try my hardest to be vegan. Uh, it's my lifestyle, it's not a diet. And a lot of the products that I use are vegan or plant-based, um, not tested on animals. So, a couple of things that I like to do. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But I never use a brush on my hair. Um, I use a comb, a wide tooth comb. And I start from like the bottom and I work my way up and I gently, gently, gently brush. And I do that to my hair. I don't count strokes. Some people count strokes of like how many times that they um, comb through or brush through. But I've always thought like a comb would be a lot um, healthier for my hair. Just saying. And I always, I don't wash my hair every day. I don't think it's really healthy to wash your hair every day. You can run water through it. But don't wash it every day. When you do wash it, don't put too many products in your hair because... That too can damage your hair and it can make more problems for your hair. So, I recently got this shampoo. I need to get the conditioner for this. These are um, like $7 and I think I got mine at Walmart because I had a small sample size from Target. And this is the Monday Smooth for frizzy and dull hair. My natural hair is wavy. Um, it can get very, very wavy. Almost mistake it for curly. Um, so it gets very frizzy, it gets, uh, it looks very bushy at times, so I make sure to use something that's, like, plant-based, frizz, and it's free of, like, a lot of bad, harsh chemicals. Um, I don't like chemicals too much. And this other thing before I use anything was, uh, I'm not even sure if this is plant-based, because this was way before I switched over everything, but I still tend to use it. And this is the Aussie Miracle Waves Conditioner. And this is kind of like the, I want to say, it's the Australian Hemp. I have about like that much, but I hardly use it. Um, it smells really good. It does smell good. It makes my hair super soft. And a lot of people say I smell, I'm just saying, they compliment that I smell good and my hair is soft, so... Um, a recent one I showed you guys in one of my haul videos is, um, this is vegan, plant-based. It is Beauty and Planet. This is Indian Lilac and Clove Leaf. This is conditioner. And it smells so good. And I need to go and look at, um, Walmart again to see if they have this. Because I like this so much. This was three fifty. dollars It was like more, it was like $7.00. It smells so good, and this makes my hair so soft, and it's just, it's, works wonders, so. 
Sometimes I use African black soap. I use the doo-doo soap, D-U-D-U. -D -U. You can get it online, but I get mine from a local beauty supply store that I go to. Um, that is free of everything. And I'm going to give you a little secret. Like, this soap actually got rid of a wart that I had frozen off of my finger one time. Never grew back. And it works wonders. So if you are looking for something to let, make your hair grow or to get rid of like some type of imperfections or anything uh do the doo doo soap is in a green packet um i do have some but yeah i do the head and shoulders just to keep dandruff off um if my hair is from my scalp is from itchy especially during the cold seasons um and i just wanted just a two-in-one shampoo conditioner uh, i try not to do overboard with the conditioner but I do have some leave-in conditioner that I use from time to time, and it's the Garnier. It's something I had left over, um, but I'm still doing my research on that. I also have a cheese straightener um, that goes up to like 500 or something, maybe higher, and it's the Barbie one. But these get very, very hot, and I want to tell you, if you use any type of heat on your hair, whether it be a curling iron, a straightener these get very very hot you don't want to have heat damage to your hair so I suggest and this is what I always use I use like a heat protectant I take this after I wash my hair and dry my hair I let my hair air dry I never dry it with a dryer I let it air dry I'll wrap it up in the towel and let it air dry so I got this it's a 10 this is very pricey you can get it at like you know your local drugstore but Inhibits dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, helps replace lost protein, seals and protects hair color, helps prevent split ends, inhibits hair breakage, creates silkiness, helps strengthen hair. I suggest you go pick up a ball of this for yourself, for your wife, for your girlfriend, and use this on your hair. Just I use about six pumps for each side, and I get like on top on the sides underneath on the bottoms and down the middle everywhere and then i let it sit for a few minutes and then i take it and then i go through my straightener or my iron however i want to do it and yeah um my hair is naturally you know it grows really fast um a lot of it starts from within so be very cautious and conscious of what you consume physically internally into your body because a lot of that starts with in drink a lot of water take your vitamins take your probiotics um take your prebiotics drink it if you have to go plant-based go vegan just a suggestion it will help your hair grow a lot faster and i usually get my hair thinned out i get it layered i get it trimmed um, I tell them to take off the the ends, and if I really, really want my hair to grow fast, um, I'll braid it at night. Like, I comb it with a comb, make sure I leave, put some leave-in conditioner, and then I'll braid it, and I'll leave it in. And I also use these type of hair ties. Sometimes, like, because my hair is, like, naturally almost black, I use black hair ties or very dark brown. But these, I've been trying to use more often. You could get these at, like, Walmart or Target. And these are the ones that do not pull on your hair. These don't pull, and I suggest you use these when you're, like, working out or when you're, just like, you know, just relaxing or you don't want to, like, do anything with your hair. Just, you know, use these so they don't pull your hair and damage your hair because it's very important. You want to condition as much as you can. Don't wash every day. And just, you know, conditioning, braiding, combing, putting in heat protective spray or this is very important and your diet will do wonders for your hair and you want to have healthy hair try not to like dye your hair as much don't perm it or put any crazy chemicals and dyes in your hair uh, because that can really damage and you can really keep your hair from growing and you want your hair to produce new you know so you can like get it to grow long long mine can grow long long but I have like I have to work a lot more because my hair is like wavy too and it takes a little longer. I don't know, for somebody with straight hair it looks like it's more, but if I was to straighten it out it's a lot longer, so yes. I this is my favorite conditioner. 
This is my favorite heat protectant. And right now this is my favorite shampoo because it has the pump. And then this is my favorite dandruff control, which I don't get a lot of dandruff, but I, I do get some dandruff. Um, yeah, so you guys, if you can't find these, just get something plant-based because you want something that's going to be healthy, something that's going to be natural. You know, you don't want to like put all these harsh things in your hair and on your body, you know, and it's like, it'll, it'll work wonders. So I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of like posts that I do or like hair things that I do or people that see me, they want to know. And I just want to share some of my things with you. I don't want to say those are my secrets because it's not, it's just, it's part of my everyday routine. It's part of it's, it's what I do, you know? And my hair, like, I, I get I get very oily hair. My hair gets very oily. So I try to just rinse it out and condition it instead of, like, putting all the harsh chemicals and not chemicals, but all the shampoos and stuff in my hair. I try to control, you know, like, the oil. Like, don't, you know, like, I can, like, I washed my hair today. Um, I put a little bit of heat on it earlier. And I use some of this. Tomorrow I could probably put a little more of the heat protectant on it and then throw it up in a ponytail or something. But you want to get you some of these little scrunchy hair ties. They look like old key rings. You want to use those in your hair as much as you can. Don't use like tight rubber bands or anything because it's going to pull and tug on your hair. Alright, so I hope this helped you guys. Um, I will be back with another video. I know some of you appreciate these videos and I like it because I can kind of share with you things and let you know. Make sure you get like uh, monthly, every three months, do every three month trims on your hair. Um, go to like, don't, I mean you could do it yourself, just you know, do like where the split ends are and trim it with the scissors. Like, you know, some people do that and it makes the hair grow longer. Make sure you're trying to braid it that way, you know. <sighs> But that heat protection is very important, I'm telling you. You can make your hair thin out, you can make your hair fall out. And if you're having any hair fall out and your hair is thinning out, take your vitamins. Um, I suggest you, you know, if sometimes it could be a medical issue with me. My hair was falling out in the shower and I thought it was just stress. And then when I pulled like pieces out, I'm like, oh, geez, I'm going to go bald. You know, it scared me a little bit. Went to the doctor, I had... Um, thyroid disorder so I got my medication and my hair stopped falling out so my hair got healthy again I got healthy again and you know you don't want to have medical issues and you don't know and you don't realize and you're putting all the wrong stuff in your body on your hair that's something you have to see doctors for so um just a little FYI for some of you um I love you guys I will talk to you soon I think I broke my earring so bye guys don't forget to subscribe